Hello, Tilly. Hello, Tilly. Just trying to experiment with my tripod. Hang on. Let's try and enjoy this with my tripod and I haven't got to keep holding it. Just use my tripod for a second. Let's enjoy that view for a few minutes. No, we're all right. They let us out. You're supposed to leave now, four o'clock. I've still got a bit of daylight, so I'm just going to enjoy this until they tell me to leave. It closes at four, so they'll start rounding us up in a minute. We drive like a golf cart around the uh, around the lake. I've just seen it going round. I basically just try to go around the lake in widescreen. And uh, I was about three quarters of the way round, and I touched the screen, and I think I've... Uh, I think I ruined half of it, so uh, I was trying to save it for YouTube. So I'm just doing a little video, I'm just doing another little periscope. And I've just done a, a few views with uh, with my phone camera to put on YouTube, so it's in HD. I'll just enjoy this sunset for a few minutes. Uh, Can you start making it up? Yeah, okay, thanks. Thank you. Yeah, they're just telling us to leave now. Right, I'm just going to try my tripod for a few seconds. Yeah, there's a man, I wonder how they do it, there's a man comes round, tells you to start making your way to the exit, so I'll just have to get my timing better. I can still keep scoping, if you stay with me. I'll just scope to the entrance, scope to the exit, yeah, I wonder how they do it, that chap drives round with his car, with his hazard lights on. I just thought I'd uh, show you this lovely sunset, well, what there is of it. <laughs> I thought I'd just uh, just try and see how long I could stay in before somebody said something. It's obviously setting for when I've come here before. Thanks for the hearts. I've got your snowmen going up now. If you give me some hearts, the sun used to set over there a few months ago, and now it's uh, now it's over there. Let's just try and get a nice view of the uh, this statue with the sun set in the background. There we go. Look at that. Let's try and get the statue in the background. Yeah, they tell you to go, and I'm just trying to... It's not good enough when you're on scope. I should have special rules for scoping. Look. I'm trying to get the sunset on scope, and they tell you to leave. <laughs> See, I'll, shall I just break the rules? I'll stay here another five minutes, see if they'll get arrested. You've got to be careful, because they might buy you from coming in, so... I've got to be chilled with them. I'll just make me... As long as I keep walking, you can see I'm making my way out, so... I think it's just driving around the lake now, see if there's anybody still walking around. I thought that was a nice shot. It's just so weird, I used to do the sunset. I've got some shots of the sunset behind the, uh, behind that, um, behind the, uh, what's his name? Slay Medusa, Perseus Slay Medusa. But I thought, oh, the sun's setting over that way now. So I'll have to remember that if I come again. I'll uh, say I've got to pass, I'll come here again. If it's a nice day, and then I'll scope this again, but obviously it's gonna it's just annoying. <laughs> I'll have to try and capture it before before four o'clock when the when the uh, when the police come round and tell you to leave. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. I'll just have to check my replay. I've just walked uh, I've just walked all the way around the lake. I say you should have three warnings anyway, he's only told me once. I've got a nice shot of there. There's like a a lot of the fairies you were, uh, a lot of fairies you have to find. That's one of them there. That's a nice shot. Yeah, that's just weird, isn't it? There's sunsets over that way. Now oh, it's sunsetting over there now. There's a monument in the distance. And there's the uh, the fairy in there. Oh, what's it? So I don't want to get in the bad boots. I suppose you don't want people here in the dark because there's no light, you see. If you're here in the dark. There's no sort of lights that come on, so uh, I say it probably gives me a bit more leeway because I'm uh, just don't want to go near that uh, go near that noise. Let's just uh, tell you what we'll do. We'll go this way. I was just going to go that way, but there's somebody with a noisy machine. I'll just uh, I'll just walk backwards for you. Hang on, let me just put this. Uh, let me just put this battery in my pocket and I'll try and walk backwards while you continue to enjoy the uh, the view of this the view of the, uh, the water. I said you just have to you just have to have a you just have to, there's plenty of places you can hide. 
I was just in full view. I was trying to hide by that bin, and he saw me. So uh, I was just for the nice sunset. That's all. I was just going to do an extra scope because uh, I was hoping to show you that in one big scope. But uh, this is twice I've come and I've tried to uh, save the save the scope to my camera roll so I can put it on YouTube. But it's failed again. So uh, yesterday was. You can watch that, that's clear all the way around, I think, in portrait. And I've just been round in widescreen today. And then, third time's a charm, I might uh, I might walk around with my phone and do it in HD another day because I'm feeling myself getting fitter because I've done two scopes today now. So, uh, I'm just uh, I'm not reading your comments just for a second, I've just got the phone turned backwards while I'm walking. If you just save your comments for a few minutes. Just let you enjoy the, uh, is that the last of it now? Yeah, it's gone. All right, I'll turn this round. Yeah, they've turned the fountains off as well. That's always a sign when they turn the fountains off. Oh, they've even blocked that off. I'm just going to show you that statue. Looks like a ghost now. It's got a bag over it. This is the uh, the longest rose trellis in England, apparently. If you look down there, you can see how long it is. There we go. I think it's the longest rose trellis in England. But uh, <laughs> I always wonder what happens when it's time to close. Are they sort of, you know, a massive place like this? It's about 20 acres. And they should have the staff going round and trying to find everybody who's having a walk. It must be a full time job for them. I don't know how much it comes across on me, on me scope. This is all the Italian gardens. I'm just making my way to the exit. I've just got a one way system at the moment. So I say more short scopes the better as long as they keep working. I don't want long scopes and then they fail, so uh, just a few short scopes is better than one long scope that fails, so you can just see the uh, the buggy, the buggy's hovering round. I always wonder why, it's just a pain with the winter, so you used to be able to be here till about 8 o'clock at night, there's the garden centre, let's go make our way to the exit, it's quite a bit of a, a long trek to the exit, you can join me anyway. Imagine this used to be all somebody's uh, private property and then they uh, it all went to tourism. There's one of the old buildings from 1750. That hasn't been knocked down. Used to have a big, uh, used to have a big like his big house on it, but uh, when the family, it was going into um, disrepair, they gave it all to the council and they knocked it down. So uh, it's basically we lost the house. That, that structure hasn't been knocked down for some reason. That's another structure. I think this uh, iPhone's compensating for the uh, the duskness. So hopefully it comes across again. There's another there's another fairy. So part of the fairy trail. You have to try and find them all. Yeah, it's weird. I'll be able to see how uh, how the camera copes with the dusk. I thought we'd seen that golf buggy. I thought it was just going to round everybody up. <laughs> I don't know if again like you know make you get in the golf buggy and take you out like force you off the property or the, how much uh, how much leeway you have you know when you actually say somewhere shuts at 4 p.m you know it's five past four now so you basically drive around in a golf buggy and uh, tell you to make your way to the exit and that's again uh, take you to the exit <laughs> if you're too slow but, uh, it's nice to see the uh, the contrast of the sky trying to be here when there's a sunset you get all there especially in england thanks for the hearts everybody in there Snowmen Hearts, I think, should be going up. This is a River Trent that goes through the park. There's a live in Stoke on Trent, near to Stafford in Staffordshire. You can hear the river. This is the River Trent. It's a big garden centre. I scoped that yesterday. All the uh, all the Christmas uh, all the Christmas stock. I scoped that yesterday. That's a big garden centre. I thought I'd just come here before it gets too busy because the the lockdown's supposed to be finishing tomorrow, so I don't know if it'll uh, make it quieter or busier when a lot more people will be back to work. Because obviously there's been a lot, of, a lot of places, a lot of retail places closed. So uh, it's uh, all retail's back open tomorrow, so uh, I don't know if that'll affect how busy it is. Well, as soon as we get to this bridge, we can't moan at us then. This is just the exit bridge. And... Uh, We'll just have a few minutes on the bridge top. 
see if I've missed any comments. Thanks for watching me. Check out my replays. I think I was talking to Darby earlier and Angel and uh, Roland. If you've been watching, thanks for watching. Thanks to any new people. Make sure you give me a follow. Follow me on YouTube, Jace forward slash Jace the Who. I've got a good Queen channel for the group Queen. And uh, I upload all my Periscope videos where I've been exploring. And uh, there's a link to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Jace the Who, which is a useful site to uh, support broadcasters to buy them a coffee to keep them warm through these winter months. With all this scoping, at, uh, it's about three degrees today. It's quite mild though. Just start seeing a bit of steam on my breath while I'm talking. Just nice, just nice weather for a walk actually. I'd say this is the way out. This is the exit. This is the River Trent you've got to pass over. So I'll uh, I'll just check for comments before I go. Ooh, 38 comments I've missed. Oh, crikey. Sorry for your comments. I've missed everybody. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's good. It isn't cold. It's just refreshing when you're walking. You're, uh... Thanks for sharing. Snowman heart, yeah. Uh, it's just checking your comments for anything important. Yeah, I suppose you could lose yourself. I mean, it's like, you know, there's loads of places you could hide if you wanted to. You know. But, uh... Let's have a look at you there. Yeah, they're after me. <laughs> this is the way out, this is the exit now, so it says make me way to the exit, so I'm standing by the exit now. So. Just checking your comments before I sign off. Right, I'm just paying attention to your comments.